Hi, welcome back to another episode of the tinnitus journey. So today I would like to talk about treatments that are available for tinnitus. I will not be mentioning everything, but I'll mention the main ones and hopefully you have tried one or more of them. So the easiest thing to do, the first thing is to get checked out. Go to your physician, book an appointment, get everything checked out. Because as I mentioned in the past, one of the causes or why you have tinnitus, because like I said, it's a symptom. So it's a symptom of something else that is going on in the body. So at least get that out of the way, get the physician or your healthcare practitioner to check you out and rule out any other medical health conditions such as uh, blood pressure or any other condition that may impact the ears and cause tinnitus. So that's the first thing you must do. And then the other simple thing to do is to go to a specialist or to your doctor, check if there is an earwax if there is a buildup of earwax, that can cause as well that the sound waves are not getting to the inner ear and that may have been uh, causing your tinnitus. This is something easy to rectify. You can remove the wax. So that's another uh, solution. As well, since medication can cause tinnitus, this is something else as well that's good to talk with your physician about and check it out and see if any of the medications that you are taking are causing the side effects. The other thing is, which I tried in the beginning, there is a lot of devices, uh, masking devices or sound therapy. If you just go on uh, YouTube, you're gonna find so many uh, tinnitus masking sounds. And believe me, I have tried every single sound therapy and every tinnitus masking sound from the fan, from the what, uh, the hair dryer, the white noise, brown noise, black noise, pink noise, any kind of sound uh, therapy I've tried. So you can try this and if you have low pitch tinnitus and you keep the music playing in the background, you might find that this is gonna help you to ignore the tinnitus and give you the brain the stimulation that it needs when you have sound in the background. So those are the things that we can do when you start with your treatments. Other things as well, if it's a TMJ issue, if you have that, then this is something that you can get the dentist to check out. Maybe you need a mouth guard, maybe there is misalignment, so you can as well look into that. Those are the most common therapies that are used in treating tinnitus. Another thing is there are uh, two therapies that are based on that hypothesis that it is an abnormal brain activity that is causing the tinnitus. And those two therapies are cognitive behavior therapy or CBT and tinnitus uh, retraining therapy, TRT. So CBT works based on helping like the therapist of course you have to go to a therapist the therapist will help you change the way you deal with the tinnitus or you respond to it so this is called cognitive behavior therapy because we're changing the mental attitude the, the attitude that we have towards tinnitus the other therapy which is the trt tinnitus retraining therapy. This one is based on two parts and it's also based on the fact that the abnormal brain activity is what is causing the tinnitus. So the therapy works on that premise by helping or training the person 
to attenuate and reduce the brain activity. And you have two parts to that kind of therapy. The first part is to work one-on-one -on -one with a therapist or a specialist. And the second part is for that masking device that produce sounds to mask the tinnitus. So basically, those are the major treatments that are available for tinnitus. Now that I have told you about these therapies, I'm gonna just tell you briefly about what I have tried before I start posting the short videos in which I was trying new therapies. So none of those videos that you will see in the next few weeks will talk about any complementary or alternative therapies because I, those for me are a given. That's my first line of defense. As a nutritionist, as a wellness consultant, as a person trained in Chinese philosophy, I always go to those therapies before anything else. So if you are gonna send me or comment with information about acupuncture, about acupressure, about tapping, about uh, osteopathy, any of these modalities, I have tried them all. And I spent so much money, enormous amount actually of money on those therapies, including acupuncture, Chinese herbs, supplements, homeopathy, uh, osteopathy, ear candling, uh, massages, craniosacral uh, massage, um, what else? I'm trying to think, so anything in those modalities and in this realm, I have already tried and I will not be talking about it in the next few episodes. The only thing that you will find me talking about is homeopathy because I didn't just use any of the homeopathic remedies uh, over the counter. I went to a classic homeopath who diagnosed and uh, gave me remedies based on my health condition. For that, uh, I'm gonna be talking about it. So for now, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm gonna tell you about the new things that I have tried to see if that helped me. Maybe one of those new treatment solutions that I have tried will work for you and help you. And hopefully that will work. So that's it for now. I will be seeing you shortly. I will be coming back commenting on the videos and the therapy or the treatment or the solution that I was seeking at that point and why I tried this kind of therapy. But please, 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 no matter what, don't start taking any kind of supplements or med medication, of course, it's going to be uh, with your doctor, but any kind of supplement or any kind of herbs without speaking with your physician or your healthcare practitioner, because there's a lot of interactions between herbs and between medication. So this may cause some side effects. And please, again, be cautious when you receive all these emails that telling is telling you that those emails they they will tell you because what's going to happen once you start searching for tinnitus you're going to see google sending you all these ads facebook is going to also uh, show those advertisements or supplements and be very very careful and vigilant when someone tells you this is going to cure my tinnitus your tinnitus this cured my tinnitus because as of this point, what well, in March 2023, there is no cure for it. You can just try to find strategies that will help you mitigate its impact and help you have a better quality of life. But other than that, don't believe anything that's out there because 
at this point yet. There is no cure, I'm sure, as we advance in technology and with medication, science, everything, there something is gonna come up. But for now, there is nothing available. Some people over time, they feel better. It goes away. I heard some people telling me that it just disappeared suddenly. You may be one of those people. I'm not one of them. It never reduced in intensity. It never disappeared. That's that's me. But maybe for you, it's going to be something different. The other thing I want to tell you, please keep watching until you get to the end, because I'm going to tell you about that one thing that helped me deal with the tinnitus, making it uh, a lot less in frequency and intensity and that has nothing to do with any of the solutions or treatments that i'm gonna be talking about or i just told you about now it's just something i was suspecting uh, for the longest time that that was the cause for the tinnitus and once i did that change it helped tremendously with it. And that's what helped me have more energy, feel better to come back and be with you and talk to you about it. So I'm gonna leave you for now. Be kind, be happy, be peaceful, and I'll see you next week with starting talking about the newer treatments and solutions that I tried for tinnitus. Please, comment below let me know if you have tried any of these modalities that i've uh, mentioned today or any of the treatments what did you find that was helpful for you or for your loved one and please if you know someone who is struggling with it please share those videos with them as well so they can feel better about themselves even if there is no treatment for any this is we can still have hope and be positive and look for solutions and a brighter future so we can deal with this challenge bye bye be blessed see you soon bye